want to say good morning or afternoon or evening to you that are watching this via YouTube at the Unity Missionary Baptist Church in Oak Park, Sacramento, California. We are still in the midst of a pandemic. Our country, our world is still in crisis, but I'm here to tell you today, learn to lean and depend and trust in Jesus, no matter what. Our text for today comes from the book of 1 Corinthians. In the New Testament, 1 Corinthians directly after the book of Romans, the first chapter, verse 18, you may want to leave your Bibles there. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. We just want to talk about the cross of Jesus Christ just for a few moments. There's not a day, there's not an hour that doesn't go by that somebody is sending some message to your phone. They're distressed, they're depressed, they're heartbroken, they don't know which way to go. You have a growing group of people who are considering suicide. You have people that are looking for answers, but here it is, my brothers and sisters, they're looking for answers in all the wrong places. Anybody that can throw a block together now, people will look for an answer. Anybody that can put anything out there on the internet, they're looking for an answer. But I'm here to tell you today, even though things seem dire, things seem depressing, seem, things seem like they're not working out, it doesn't look how people are gonna make it, they're looking for answers in Facebook and Snapchat and all other types of, of uh, entities. But I'm here to tell you what thus saith the Lord. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. There's somebody today that will accidentally look at this YouTube and say, Preacher, what do you mean by that? This world is coming apart. This world has come apart before. The pandemic of 1918 through 20, the Great Depression that began in the year October 1929, the things that have happened during World War I, II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, the assassination of President Kennedy, all the things that have happened in the 20th century, we still survive. And I'm here to tell you this today, you will survive if you just continue. First of all, if you believe in the Lord, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Bible says, I'll say it again, to those who are listening, it's the message of the cross, it's foolishness. There's some people today that are saying, this is foolishness, I don't believe it, I can't believe it, I can't surmise it, I can't wrap my head around it, but yes, you can. It might be foolishness to you, but to those of us who are saved, it is the power of salvation. There's power in Jesus. Don't let the world tell you or turn you upside down and tell you you can't make it. You can make it. You can make it because of the resurrection power of the cross of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yahshua HaMashiach, our Savior, our Messiah.
academic correctly. And he gave an interesting, here's a big word for you, treatise. And it sounded good. It sounded magnificent. It sounded like he knew what he was doing. But at the very end of the article, and I read it all the way through, it was a long article. At the end, he had no answer. Not the words of wisdom. Least the cross should be made in no effect. But here it is, the second chapter of 1 Corinthians, verse 1. And I, brethren, when I came to you, did not come with excellence of speech or of wisdom, declaring to you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything amongst you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. A lot of people say, I hear people now, when's the end of the world coming? How come I can't make a million? How come I can't do this? How come I can't do that? I declare unto you today, I declare not to know anything but Jesus Christ and him crucified. Verse 3, I was with you in weakness and fear and much trembling, and my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power. There's power in the spirit of the Lord. There's power in the words of the Lord. There's power in the resurrected Christ that, that rules and super rules this world. There's passion in the Christ. There's wonderful things that go on because of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. There's power in the cross. I'm not going to deny the cross. I'm not going to go into a whole huge, huge thing to surmise. I'm going to stand with the demonstrative power of the cross of Jesus Christ. Acts, the fifth chapter, verses 29. But Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom you murdered by hanging out there on a tree. Oh, hallelujah. Then God has exalted to his right hand to be the prince and savior to give repentance to Israel for the forgiveness of sins. Verse 32. And we are the witnesses to these things. So also he is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. I'm going to read that one more time. Also also is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those No matter what they say about what's going to happen next, no matter when they say they're going to open the country 
no more than God, the Lord will show us something. It's just like now, people are wondering what's going to happen. Will we ever get a sun? Will we ever get, will we ever be able to go back out with our mask on? Will we ever be able to travel again? What will we do? What will we do? Learn to depend on the wise God, God that created the heavens and earth. In the beginning, ex nihilo, God created the heavens and the earth. Has not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For since in the wisdom, verse 21, of God, the world through wisdom did not know God. It pleased God through the foolishness of the message preached to save those who believe. There are people right now that are looking at me and saying, this is foolishness. This man ought to be out somewhere digging a ditch somewhere. He ought to be somewhere selling something down at Target somewhere. This is foolishness. Yes, it is foolishness to those who don't believe in who God is. Yes. 